Well, welcome into your Picture Nation report. Alyssa Orange alongside Mike Irwin and Courtney Mims. And as we continue to go into a deep dive of these position groups here for the Razorbacks, we're going to now talk about the secondary, which has a lot of speed, a lot of talent. And Barry Odom says he's not ready to name any starters yet. That's how good those guys are over there. They've had some talented guys transfer in. You've got Dwight McLaughlin from LSU. You have Latavius Brini from uh, Georgia. And then you even had Trent Gordon from Penn State, who we've seen. That's added competition on top of the other guys that have got another year under their belt, Courtney. Yeah, definitely. That is something that I'm excited to see when that first game hits because there is so much competition at this position. But I think Pittman mentioned it. There was a battle between three guys, and it was Malik, Ladarius Bishop, and Hudson Clark with Dwight McLaughlin right there behind them. But again, I'm, I like the stats, so I'm going to show you what uh, he did last year at LSU, which is why I think Nudie should be more in this conversation. Played in 10 games, six starts, recorded 32 tackles, six pass breakups, a force fumble, and guys, I remember this one, a pick six against Florida. So this is why I think we'll see much more of him this season. And he also has that SEC experience, which is so valuable when it comes to uh, this team. Yeah, Courtney, going to the stat sheet to uh, give her opinion. Mike, I know that you like the eye test. Jalen Catalan continues to impress even after missing seven games and coming back from injury. Well, there's been a lot of one-on-one -on -one battles and frankly, the secondary has been losing a lot of those battles, especially when they brought the boxing gloves out the day they had the secondary all, especially the cornerbacks had the boxing gloves on. It was done to prevent holding, to, to sort of make them conscious, I can't grab a guy. You can put your hands on a receiver usually, but it's when you grab is when you're gonna get caught. So, but it put a tremendous disadvantage on those corners, especially. And the safeties had kind of the same problem in, in the nickels. The one guy I saw that it didn't matter was Catalan. He just stepped up, and it was funny. He knocked one of those passes away, and then he goes over to one of the student manager guys. He must know him, and he's got the boxing gloves on, and he's pounding him in the <laughs> midsection a little bit and laughing. The guy's having fun out yeah. there. He's very good. Yeah, and you're seeing a lot of leadership from him, too. And there's so many guys we didn't talk about. Miles Slusher, uh, Simeon Blair, who have experience. Well, this secondary is going to be incredible. Hudson Clark has got four interceptions People or five interceptions. People have been sleeping on him because yeah. he had that subpar year last year after being hot as a freshman. And now he's just come out of nowhere. And people are saying, the coaches are saying, because he's smart and he's worked and he's put himself in a position. He's, they're calling him right now one of the two starters at corner. Yeah, we'll see what happens, but they have talent, they have speed, and you love to hear it from the coaches. Excited to see it on the field. For Courtney Mims and Mike Irwin, I'm Melissa Orange, and that is going to do it for your Picture on Nation report.